Hey, what's everyone out there in YouTube land? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Chill Sis is here. We have something very special and sentimental sent to us today. And man, this thing's been all over the country. It's been sent to fellow game creators, game collectors alike, but you don't know where you're going until you know where you've been. So enjoy this short compilation of just a smidgen of where this box has been. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the War Train here, and in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and checking out one of these dad boxes that I got right here. The dad box. And I got the other dad. Really interesting today. We are doing the Lame Dad Retro Gamer Game Box Challenge. This is the dad box from the channel Lame Dad Retro Game. Oh. Amazing game right here. For the first one we got, we got Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Uh, this time I was selected to do the dad box. And these are just a few select gamers within the community that have been affected and received the dad box. So thank you for what you do. So what I'm actually doing today is something called the dad box challenge. In this video, we're opening up the dad box. We're coming to you today with a special unboxing. I'm the recipient of a dad box. Though we might come from different backgrounds and upbringings, there's one thing within the community that remains a constant. The love and the passion that drives us behind video games and the memories that tie us to them. Wow, guys. Wow. Just to know that this box has been in some of my most favorite and beloved YouTube creators and game collectors out there. They've held this, you know, I'm a little bit nerding out at this box at this point, but uh, super happy that uh, Jeremy over there at War Train wins. If you have not checked out his YouTube channel, you have to stop by. Links in the description below, of course. So let's jump into this box and see what's up. So first off, we've removed any shipping uh, information to contain our privacy but as you can see this box has just been you know put through the ringer you know um, it's got a little uh, Luigi on a, a like a red Yoshi there and uh, it used to say right here it's got a shipping label over it but it used to say the dad box right there but it's got a little sticker put over it but as you can see to save time, we've opened this box up. I do not know, um, you know, what contents are in it, uh, what was exchanged from Jeremy, uh, aka War Train Wins. So we're gonna go and open this box up and see what's happening. So first off, we're greeted with the rules. It looks like from the back panel here, but uh, shout out to Lame Dad Retro Gamer, one of the first uh, individuals whom. Uh, came up with the, uh, the original idea and started sending them out. Uh, there's been other channels, uh, link in the des description box below, that have sent out other ones. So guys, this is very cool. If you're following along with this, make sure and check out hashtag um, the, the dad box reveal. Uh, it's going to pull up all of the other channels that have done this video in the, in the past. It's really interesting to see the transition between um, who's, who put in what and etc and so on. So uh, on the back side of this is going to be uh, the rules uh, in the nutshell. So basically the goal is to get the box in the hands of 50 gamers anywhere in the world. Uh, challenge rules unboxing uh, must be recorded on video. Uh, no sport games, no fillers. Uh, racing and wrestling games are acceptable. Any game swag may, may be included and taken as you desire but, but please replace it with swag so basically if you take something then replace it with equal or less uh, equal or greater value as far as my premise would go I don't want to take something and put something that lesser value in there that's kinda kinda diminishing the value of, of sending this box out um, post a video on YouTube that's what we're doing here um, and most importantly, uh, the most important one that I see on here is have fun, uh, right there at the very bottom. So to me, that's number one rule. Um, but, uh, yeah, shout out to 
Lame Dad Retro Gamer uh, for coming up with this idea and bringing the community together. That's what it's all about. The community, uh, you know, this stuff is just physical stuff, although we have a large selection of uh, said stuff, but it's the community and the people and the memories that tie us all together. So with all that smoggy stuff out of the way, we're going to remove some bubble wrap here. Looks like they've done a wonderful job at kind of um, protecting the contents inside. And right off the cuff, we are greeted with Kratos' face right there. We got God of War 3. Um, this is for the PlayStation 3. Man, I get, I literally just got on the God of War franchise and I actually own this copy. Um, I have tons of games, so it's going to be hard to believe that there's anything in here that I would uh, not already have, but unfortunately I do already have this. It is a minty clean uh, copy here, complete in box, but yeah, God of War 3, let's move right along here. Oh man, this is one that I missed out on. Um, I, I can only imagine that this would come from um, the biggest Nintendo collector I know, and I'm assuming this came from Jeremy. This is a sealed. Uh, Mario's, Mario Bros. coin collection. Um, I'm not sure if it just comes with that one and you have to purchase the rest. I believe it actually um, comes with a complete coin collection. This one's going to be a very difficult one for me to pass up. Um, it's, uh, it's just something that's really cool. It's sealed um, and I don't have anything like it. So as a standalone piece it would look awesome up on a shelf. It's a conversation piece as well, but yeah, really excited to have that one. Man, yeah, I think this one came from Mr. War Train. Uh, you, if you look at his collection, it's filled to the brim with high-end collectibles from Nintendo, and this is just awesome to see. Uh, we got some more bubble wrap. Looks like we got some potentially homemade swag here. So we got a uh, 2D Mario. Um, pick kind of like it's like a pixel art almost, but it's got like a, a velcro back attachment. So, uh, you know, if you wanted to stick this onto a surface or like you know, whatever, or even if it is good enough, you could actually just stick it onto your shirt and uh, and it would stay on there. But that's pretty cool. It also came with the uh, star that way he can and just slaughter everything in his way. But uh, really cool. I love homemade stuff from fans and stuff like that. So like whenever I see somebody that made it, I'm a big crafty guy. So whenever I see stuff like that, I really, really, really appreciate it. And this is a blast from the past. We got a Sega Genesis controller. Um, pretty good condition. Oh man, dude, it's been so long since I've held a Sega Genesis controller. I've um, I don't own anything like Sega Genesis or any of those consoles um, in person. I, I need to, I really do. Uh, I have memory ties to them, but I've never personally owned any of them. Uh, I always went over to my friend's house and played the Genesis, and I just remember staying up all night long playing Sonic, and man, that's pretty cool. Even as a standalone, just because I don't have one in my collection, that's pretty cool. Let's keep digging. A couple more smalls here. We got a mushroom from Mario's Universe. And it sounds like it's got like candies or something in it. Uh, mushroom Sours. Interesting. So this one is sealed, of course. Pretty cool little standalone to just throw up on your shelf. Pretty neato. Uh, moving right along. Oh wow, this is unexpected. So this is a. Um, High School Musical Disney handheld game. Uh, it's kind of like the Tiger Electronics. Um, oh, there we go. Looks like it does work. Um, not sure how exactly it works, but pretty cool. Tiger Electronics makes some really cool stuff. This one's uh, not a Tiger uh, Electronics one, but a lot of people have nostalgia for that type of stuff. So I kind of need to come across. Let's move it right along here. Peel some bubble paper back, and yeah, we got a little bit of everything right now. I'm kind of overwhelmed, so let's just start uh, chipping away through here. 
So we have a Star Wars Mandalorian The Child, where it's got Mando's helmet and uh, little, uh, little Yoda, um, his name escapes me at the moment, but uh, he's peeking out from under the helmet like he was hiding underneath the helmet. Pretty neat, uh, kind of pretty cool to come across. I've never seen this this kind of figure before. It's uh, it's made obviously by Disney, but uh, series three, but pretty cool. It looks pretty detailed. Another cool memento to kind of throw up on the game room shelf. I see another God of War item here, and we have a God of War, um, New York Times best-selling author and Robert E. Vardman, the official novel of the thrilling video game, uh, God of War. So, something like this is really cool. Um, if you're really into the lore of God of War, then this would be the best way to explore it and uh, just, you know, dive into the universe. Um, but, that's kind of tempting because that's a really cool conversational piece just to throw up onto the game room shelf. Um, yeah, that one would be a hard one to pass up as well. Just because I have I have a Halo, I have Gears of War graphic novels. I don't have any of the Gears of War, or Gears of War, God of War. Um, we have a little figure here. It's pretty cool. He's uh, in the kind of you know, 2D, 8-bit uh, graphical um, situation here. Uh, this one appears to be handmade, but it is not. Uh, it is a Funko, uh, made by Funko.com. Um, so yeah, I guess this one is like a Funko uh, pop, or I don't, I'm not sure about the terminology. Um, not sure where he's from. Uh, maybe. I don't even I don't even know but pretty neat kind of cool little moment to throw up on the game room shelf as well uh, we got a huge stack of games there's something here and this kind of gives it away but let's see what we got in this oh wow so we have a Nintendo Wii uh, Wiimote uh, this one's not the Wii, Wii Motion Plus but really cool to come across I don't know why but whenever I was um, a kid and it came I came across this whenever I first got my hands on the Wii U I loved the the white scheme with the translucent um, buttons I don't know it just made it really look futuristic and clean and unlike anything just high-end that we've seen before uh, coming off of the Xbox and the PlayStation side of things buttons are really clicky no fading uh, it's in wonderful shape um, there's not hardly any scratches on it uh, so this one would be actually pretty hard considering I've been collecting very heavily here lately for the Nintendo Wii U um, and you can use these controllers um, I'm, I'm not too sure about the Wii Motion Plus compat with Wii U um, they might need to be Wii Motion Plus maybe if they don't then this will be perfect for an add-on to my collection to play like you know, um, Mario Party 10, um, or any of those other games, multiplayer, that you can uh, use the, the controller as a standalone like this. Um, there are some controllers, I think they're like the big, the big controllers, sort of brand is like big something, but you can snap them in, and it turns into like a uh, fully functional, su large Super Nintendo controller for these. So this would be hard to pass up. Uh, be a really good contributor to the uh, the Wii collection here, and then we got we got a huge stack of games. I'm about to dive into that, but before we do, there's a book in here. Looks like we got a LA Noir strategy guide, and if you've ever played this game, you're probably gonna get a large uh, percent of use out of this. This game is very long, very confusing. Um, I mean, confusing in the way that you're supposed to solve these mysteries. I'm not one that um, uses these as I play along. However, I do like to own them. So I have several um, strategy guys for games that are, I'm passionate about. 
but LA Noir, people would definitely get some use out of this one. Very awesome game, but also very, very deep and can, can get very confusing at times if you're not paying close attention to what's going on around you. And then we have a huge stack of o games. So right off the cuff, right on the top here, we got Transformers The Game. Uh, this one is um, just the straight Transformers The Games. I know on some of these are, get quite valuable. Um, this particular one I do not own, so this one might be staying with me. We'll see. Um, I've never played any of the Transformer games. Big Transformer fan. I love the movies. I love the cartoons, the animated series, etc. Bumblebee was another awesome, awesome movie that came out. Uh, just draws you in. It looks like you play as uh, Bumblebee. Or at least you can play as Bumblebee. Uh, protect and destroy. So made by Activision. Let me see if it's complete. Looks like we got a complete copy here. So I don't know. This one might be sticking around in my collection for a little bit. Uh, we'll see. I'll dig through. Um, and see what else we got and of course anything that I might take will be replaced for something equal or a lot more value uh, we're not going back as far as these games go uh, so this next one is a Wii U title um, as I said earlier I'm a big Wii U guy right now I'm just really digging deep into the franchise uh, but Mighty number no. 9 this game at one point you could pick up for under five dollars at my local game store they were just basically giving them away um, for what it is is it a bad game I don't think so is it a, a solid game I think it's you know it's it's solid you know it's at least a solid game um, and it could have could it have been better absolutely you could say that about any game but this one is appears to be complete um, I'm not sure what this is. I guess they all kind of come with this. But it's pretty cool. It comes with like a little art book of each character in it. Um, but I don't know. For You have to look at the price versus. And Mighty Number no. 9 I got for just a couple of dollars. Do you get a couple of dollars worth of enjoyment? Absolutely. So, meh. If you come across it in the wild, it's up to you if you want to pick it up, but I think it was worth just a couple of dollars. Um, so yeah, Mighty Number no. 9 for the Wii U. I believe I have this one in my collection. I don't know, I have to go through and make sure and check it out. But uh, yeah, Mighty Number no. 9 for the Wii U. Uh, moving right along, so this one is Saints Row National Treasure Edition for the PlayStation 3. Normally I would come across anything PlayStation and be like, well, I can't play that. Not the truth now. I have PlayStation 1 console, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I am all in on the PlayStation franchise. So Saints Row, uh, these games started out as a simple gangster uh, with rivalries. Uh, and now you're playing as a president fighting off aliens from another planet. They just went above and beyond. You get games that, that really focus and dig deep on the realism. This one is more based on having fun. You know, there's a spot to be said about both uh, styles of gameplay, uh, but sometimes you just want to sit down and blow stuff up, and that's what this game offers. So Saints Row um, for PlayStation 3, I don't have this one. Uh, for the PlayStation 3 and then you got the lovely red case um, I like to use these for my horror games uh, so I'll swap those out every now and again but uh, aka the greatest hits version so that one might be staying with me we will see so the next one is a a uh, double pack actually this is Batman the video game and pure so this one let's take a look we got Batman and pure um, with both it is complete um batman the lego the video game uh i have on um the wii u i believe um i think so anyway uh pure i definitely don't own so this one's a, a pretty good value when it comes with both of them some of them can get quite expensive because this is a variant that uh, was not sold or it was sold 
in a pack-in so like you buy a Xbox 360 and this will be sold as a bonus to entice you to purchase it because it comes with two games right out of the gate that you can enjoy one for your kid one for more of an adult but uh, pretty cool um, yeah I have to give this one some consideration it is in a really clean case um, normally if those would say like not for resale on them if it was a pack-in so this one might be a standalone um, because I'm not seeing them out for resale on it um, although it doesn't have a barcode on the outside which is also another dead giveaway that this was a pack-in so I believe this was a pack-in pretty cool uh, next game I've it is personally responsible for uh, taking over my life for a better better part of like Two years plus man it's just Elder Scrolls Sky, uh, Skyrim um, I think this is just about on everything now I think uh, my nephews like leapfrog has Skyrim on it nowadays but uh, yep yeah, I definitely have this one I have the collector's edition um, and it looks like it's in like a DVD case but nonetheless pretty cool to come across it um, definitely you can pick this up for like two bucks at my local game store um, and two dollars for an adventure such as this it is almost criminal that you can buy this game now for like a couple bucks it's it's insane this one I do own and I 100 percented it I loved it uh, it's a hidden gem in my book but we're looking at Greg Hastings tournament paintball this game is a lot of fun you can customize uh, your gun, every gun feels different, it shoots different, um, the wind, I believe, was a factor in this, but, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't played this, it is a blast, Greg Hastings, I wish you would come out with more stuff, uh, because it is so much fun, uh, as well as Splat, another paintball game, um, that's a bit old school. Now this is the last item in the dad box guys and it is a goodie. Uh, this is Batman Arkham Knight for the Xbox One. Uh, no artwork or uh, booklet on the outside but the game itself again I have this in uh, the collector's edition uh, but man this one is a blast. Looks like whoever got it got it from Goodwill for three bucks. So yeah if you get this game for three bucks it's definitely worth three dollars worth of um, worth of gameplay out of it. it is a really awesome adventure <sighs> all right guys so that is everything in the dad box so I really appreciate you guys if you've made it this far in the video I have a lot of thinking to do of what uh, I, I want to stick behind and add to my own collection and also what I want to hook up for the next person so we will see thank you Jeremy aka Wartrain for sending me and giving me this opportunity to check out the dad box and join the, the community and be a part of this uh, gaming uh, revolution as we share the goods we send them around so stay tuned for who we will be sending the dad box to next um, I've pretty much made up my mind so look out whoever you are for a message coming out soon so guys thank you all for like commenting and subscribing i'll catch you all in the next video peace